Good afternoon. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Christy Casciano. First at four breaking news, Attorney General Jeff Sessions resigning at the request of the president. On Twitter, President Trump thanked Sessions for his service and announced that Sessions, Chief of Staff Matthew Whitaker, will serve as acting attorney general until a permanent replacement is found. Tensions developed between the president and Sessions last March when Sessions recused himself from the Russia investigation and Deputy Attorney Rod Rosenstein took over. Rosenstein soon appointed Special Counsel Robert Mueller to oversee the Russia probe. President Trump hinted at some changes within his cabinet just a few hours ago during a head-spinning news conference about the midterm elections. Things quickly turned contentious with the president pointing the finger at the media when questioned by CNN's Jim Acosta about the migrant caravan and the Russia investigation. Let's listen in. Dramatic fundraising. Mr. President, are you worried about indictments coming down in this investigation? Mr. President. Mr. President. I tell you what, CNN should be ashamed of itself having you working for them. You are a rude, terrible person. You shouldn't be working for CNN. Go ahead. I, I think that's unfair. You're a very rude person. The way you treat Sarah Huckabee is horrible. And the way you treat other people are horrible. You shouldn't treat people that way. Go ahead. In, in, go in ahead, Jim, Peter. Go in, ahead. In Jim's defense, I've traveled with him and watched him. He's a diligent reporter who busts. Well, his I'm not a big fan of yours either. So I you understand. Know, to be honest. So, with let me, so let me ask you a question, if I can. You repeatedly you said you are the best, Mr. President. You repeatedly, oh, over the course okay, of. Okay, just sit down, please. Well, when you when you report fake news, no. When you report fake news, which CNN does a lot, you are the enemy of the people. Go ahead. The fiery remarks coming as President Trump touted Republican success last night and calling out Republicans who did not embrace him. Expectations 